In our cinematic Let's Play series, we have been building these roundhouses inspired by some Scottish Stone Age settlements. And today, I thought it'd be a great idea to show you my build process in more detail. So let's jump into my creative world and get started. To start with on these builds, we make a circle of stone. The longest part of these sides will be five blocks in total and is connected with a two and a one, followed by a two at 90 degrees. And then we have the next set of five. We complete this all the way around and then bring the whole thing up three blocks in total to complete the basic base. Now we can go in and add some texture into the walls, adding in some cobble, mossy cobble, and andesite. And that is the basic stone base complete. Once the walls are in place, we can move on to the wooden supports for the roof. For this we'll be using dark oak. Starting with the longest walls, we will add pillars of three in each of the far sides. Then diagonally, from the middle section of the curved part of the wall, we will go up by five. Connecting these bigger pillars together with more dark oak. Then creating a, another layer of pillars on the corners of these beams by placing upside down stairs followed by a dark oak. Now we place a trapdoor next to this new pillar, and on top of that trapdoor, we place a couple more dark oak. Once this is done, by each side, we connect all of these together with some beams. Finally, for some lower down roof supports, we take some dark oak stairs and slabs and add them as a trim to the top of the stone walls all the way around. And just like with the wall, I like to add in some detail using some stripped dark oak and dark oak planks. For the main roof, we wanted to start as low down as possible to protect this build from the elements. So with some birch fences, we come out two from the largest part of the wall and place three fences. On top of these go stairs, and then we continue going up from here with stairs, slabs, planks, and stripped wood all the way to the top. Once we have reached the top, we repeat this process on each side. Now we just need to connect the sides together Again, starting with some fences for support and working through with stairs, slabs and full blocks. Now that the basic structure of the roof is in place, we just need to punch in a hole for the door on one side. And add in some detailing onto the roof. For this series, I wanted to build with a feeling of old and dead. So I went with some moss, grass, azalea bushes, and birch leaves to give it a really overgrown feel. For an interior, currently in the cinematic world, we have one build as a place to sleep with some basic storage, 
and the other with a larger storage area and some crafting space. But there is a lot of flexibility and possibility with these builds. I do love the simplicity and versatility of this design, and I really do think it fits well with the cinematic series. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial, and if you do use this build, please do let me know. I'd love to see it.